The following contest is a six-man Hell in a Cell match and is for the Super Pro Wrestling Extreme Undisputed Triple Crown Junior Championship. Making his way to the ring from Rhode Island, weighing in at 163 pounds, Chris. Remember guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. And from Rhode Island, weighing in at 163 pounds. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. I have to say the level of pride he has in his game is truly impressive, guys. Yeah, he's about as proud as a peacock, Michael. And you know what? He has every right to be. And from Rhode Island, weighing in at 163 pounds. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Byron, he certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride possibly bordering on arrogance. And from Rhode Island, weighing in at 163 pounds. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. And guys, you have to respect how much pride he has in what he does. I don't know, Michael. I understand the importance of having pride in what you do, but sometimes I think he can be a bit overbearing. I don't know if he means to be, but that's definitely how he comes across at times. And from Rhode Island, weighing in at 163 pounds, Peter! Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. I'd say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud of yourself. And from Rhode Island, weighing in at 163 pounds, Brian. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. Byron, he certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride possibly bordering on arrogance.
It's the structure that's going to make the difference in this one, folks. These superstars can act all nonchalant all they want, but when you see that structure and the door slams behind you, I don't care who you are, you're shelling inside. No argument there, Corey. That's why there have been so few WWE superstars who have ever had the guts to step inside the structure for a Hell in a Cell match. The thing that makes this so much more insidious than a simple cage match is there's no escape. The door is padlocked, and the only way up is by the championship on the line. Now he did palm strikes. He breaks the ribs count after one. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oh, trampling the opposition. To the spine. German suplex. But that's not all. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh, knee to the face. Oof. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. He turns it around. And Zappany has all the time he wants. Big kick. Well, did we just see a two fly out? No one drop kick right on the patella. Yeah. Was mounted with the punches. And what? Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. to the chain link enclosure.
Pro Wrestling Extreme Undisputed Triple Crown Junior Champion, Peter. Yes, we have a new champion.